it was a contentious start to a military trial many years in the making. Five alleged al-Qaeda plotters managed to disrupt today's arraignment without ever saying a word. The hearing took place at the U.S. military base at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Our chief legal correspondent, Jan Crawford, is there. Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and the four other top 9-11 suspects were in the same courtroom four years ago, and they were defiant. There were repeated outbursts. They said they wanted to plead guilty. Well, today they followed a different strategy, silence. He sat at a table in the front of the courtroom, and again, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, the confessed mastermind of September 11th, seemed in charge. Captured in Pakistan in 2003, today Mohammed, known as KSM, is thinner, his bushy beard tinted red. Once seated, he said nothing. When military judge James Pohl asked repeated questions about whether he wanted lawyers and who he wanted to represent him, KSM looked away. Pohl asked KSM eight questions and eight times the judge said the accused refuses to answer. The other four terror suspects accused of training hijackers or facilitating the 9-11 attacks also remained silent when Judge Pohl questioned them. They kept their faces down, flipped through magazines, or read the Koran. One American lawyer for defendant Walid Ben Atash wore traditional Muslim attire and even urged the female military prosecutors dressed in uniform with knee-length skirts to consider more appropriate attire so the suspects won't have fear of committing a sin under their faith. The Obama administration planned to bring the five to New York for trial in a regular criminal court, but intense opposition forced the administration to scrap those plans and restart the military commissions at Guantanamo. There was no indication today the defendants wanted to plead guilty, and their American civilian and military lawyers offered a fierce defense with talk of torture and mistreatment and complaints that they were prohibited from talking privately with their clients. As the lawyers tangled with the judge, KSM looked on and smiled. Also in the Guantanamo courtroom were nine family members of 9-11 victims, including Tara Henwood Butzbach, whose brother John was killed at work inside the World Trade Center. The time to answer for their crimes is here. You know, the day of reckoning has come, and we have come to show that we're still here and that we will not stop until we seek justice. Now, I was in the courtroom with nine other members of the media. Khalid Sheikh Mohammed was sitting just 30 feet away, and during the breaks, they took breaks so they could have prayers. He turned around and talked to the other suspects. They whispered back and forth. They seemed relaxed, and they appeared to laugh. Maurice. Jan Crawford, thank you very much.